update the static page with revalidate path. I see that it triggers a create product action. And if I check the code, it updates the database. But then what? And I've actually commented some code that is interesting, which runs a function named revalidate path. I will uncomment just this part. And it's actually very intuitive what it does. It revalidates the home page and it revalidates the product page. Why this term revalidating? The idea is that you should think about static rendering like caching pages, caching the HTML generated for pages. It's not exactly HTML with React Server component. It can be a JSON payload that represents the data that are rendered by the component. Because React Server components, again, have to integrate with client-side code. So it's always a bit more complicated than what we should think conceptually. But the broad picture is that it caches the page at build time. And revalidation is saying, yes, but this build time content, it's not up to date anymore. It's not valid anymore. We need to revalidate. And the idea is that this will trigger what we call the stay while revalidate strategy, meaning that the old content will still be served to users while Next computes a new version on the future request. And the new content will be available very quickly. There is no interruption and the page is basically updated in the background. So we can easily test that. Uh, let me open the terminal back. We are going to close the load test. We need to rebuild the application because I was running in production. Um, small note, if you run Next.js in development mode, you won't be really able to test static rendering because uh, in development, every request will still re-render the page. For uh, The reason is that it would be very annoying to have to uh, refresh the page every time during development. My server is running. So let's set another one. Uh, 42 dollars, save the change, see the product list, and now it's almost immediately up to date. I see my other product, yet the page is still static. I didn't have to make it dynamic for each request. There is no new render of the page after the, the compilation, after the revalidation. If I check the server logs, I will see that during development, if I can get them, we will see five products, most probably, given that I see six products now. So, okay, it has been, the products list has been rendered with five products. I've just added some logs when, when rendering to be able to tell when it's rendered. Then I add my new, new product, and then I see it's rendered with six products. It's rendered multiple times. Again, those, um, this is noise due to uh, most probably, I think, from React strict mode. So this is just a lot of noise. But if I refresh, you see that there are no new renders. It's rendered with the six products. Actually, you see twice, two renders twice because it's rendering the home page twice and the product list twice because I've invalidate not one, but two paths given that the product list is used here on the products page, but also here on the home page. So I had to invalidate both paths. If you want to keep learning about how to build real-world apps with the latest technologies and other career-related topics, then start right now by subscribing to our channel and liking this video.